Hi, welcome to Tantalus Oracle. So today I'm going to be looking into two different cases. First, we're going to have Leandre Flint. And then I'm going to do Jonathan David Lau. I think that's how you say it's L-A-U. And so Leandre has been missing since July 29th of this year from Atlanta. Um, but his truck was found in Michigan abandoned in Michigan so he's 21 years old and then Jonathan Lau he's missing since November of last year but it's not saying where he's missing from I guess he wasn't really in contact with his family about his locations so they don't know exactly his last place he was but he's been missing or last heard from um, in November of last year so I'm going to start with Leah Andre Flint, like I said, he's 21 years old and he's missing out of Atlanta, but the truck was found abandoned in um, Michigan. So we have this male, which is the father. We have the girlfriend, wife, fiance, and then we have something unknown. So that's an unknown place, an unknown feeling, an unknown person, something that's not known to you or him. Okay. So here you have this father, then you have a family issue, something going on within the family, uh, a deadly encounter or a setup. So it could have been something within someone's family, not saying his family, but whatever was going on, somebody got into it. Okay. And then something happened or it could, like I said, it could have been a setup. But either way, somebody got into it and it's not a good outcome, but it's connected to something was going on within someone's family, not saying his family, but this male's family. OK, so he could have been dealing with some things within his family. They could have met up with him, got into it, whatever. OK. Then you have this female girlfriend, wife, fiance. Um. This is somebody that's trusted and somebody wanting more than what they're getting. So this could be somebody that this person trusted or that um, Leandre trusted. Could have been his girlfriend. I don't know. Uh, but then somebody was wanting something that they wasn't getting from someone. So either she wasn't getting what she wanted. If this is his girlfriend, she wasn't getting something she wanted. But this is whoever this is, is somebody that he trusted. Or this could be this person right here connected to that person, whoever that is. So here, like I said, this could be an unknown person, unknown place or whatever. But here you have the job or employment and then sickness, illness, or disease. So somebody could have had something going on with themselves here, whoever this person is, and it could be some connection to someone's employment. Okay. Like they work together, but he doesn't know this person. Um, or like I said, the employment is how you earn money and the job is some things that you do like, Hey, I want you to do this for me. 
or you saying, okay, I'm going to do this for you type of thing. Like you're doing somebody a favor or something that could be that type of job. Okay. I would say, I don't, whatever I told you about him being missing from Atlanta, his truck being abandoned in Michigan, that's the only thing I know. I don't research into different, um, if I'm going to do a reading on them, I don't research because I don't want the information that I find out to influence how I read the cards. I just want to read them how I, how I see them. And then I go back into it and look, and then I can put it together that way. Okay, so now you have somebody in your circle. And then somebody have a goal in mind, something in mind, something that they're looking for or working towards or whatever. They got the eye on the prize, however you want to put it. Okay, but then you have someone in your group of friends in your community. So these could be people that he knows right here because this is someone in your circle. So this could be your circle of friends. And you're the area that you live in, or like I, like I say, if you belong to a, a, a type of club or a group or something like that, that's your community. It could be your job. So if you are an entertainer, it could be that community of entertainers. It's your community because they are in the same group as you. Um, if you are a teacher, it could be in the teaching community. So that that's what that means. Somebody in your group of friends, you're circling your community. Um, so it could be. This is how he connects to these people here. Then you have someone focus on the goal. So somebody has something in mind that they want to do. Could be this female here because she wants, this person wants something that they're not able to get from someone. Okay, so let's look. So here, this is an ex and somebody protecting or defending someone. So somebody's trying to protect their ex. Now, the ex, it could be an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, co-worker. It's somebody you used to deal with in some type of way. But somebody is trying to protect or defend this person or themselves, okay? So, but it's connected to the, these two. So if this is somebody in his circle, okay, then it, it means that is somebody that he used to deal with could be an ex friend of his, but if it's connected to this girlfriend could be the ex girlfriend and this could be her man or it could be her father. I don't know how it's going. Okay. So here you got somebody trying to protect someone, but this is somebody connected to someone in his circle. They're trying to protect or defend an ex. Could be her ex. Because we have a, a male, a female, and somebody that he don't know. This could be a person that he doesn't know right here. All right, so here we have someone having a fading relationship. So they got an issue within their relationship. Somebody is being stubborn. That probably would be causing the relation. I mean, the, the issue within the relationship. But this relationship is connected to who, what, whatever somebody is, this female. So what I'm saying is somebody wants something here. They have their eye on something. They're not getting what they want. That's probably why y'all having a problem within the relationship that you have. And it don't have to be 
girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife relationship. It could be the relationship you have with your, your sibling or your coworker or whoever. That's a relationship that you have. So there's something going on within a relationship that someone is having. Somebody is being stubborn because see, somebody is not getting what they want here. Maybe because somebody feels like they're being stubborn and not listening and not doing what I want them to do. Okay. Somebody is hiding some things. This father, this male, he's hiding some things about uh, the situation, probably this family situation, something that's going on. Because if this is this female's father, this could be the family issue, whatever that's going on over here that they're trying to keep under wraps because, see, there's a deadly encounter connected with this issue within the family. So the family issue because is they could be trying to hide or cover whatever, whatever this person did. Because they're connected. They're in a family. If you understand what I'm saying. This is a friend. So. They're trying to hide a situation about someone's friend. Or a friend is helping them hide something. Somebody's not being truthful. They're hiding things. And it has a connection to a friend. So is he the friend? that this issue is stemming from. Okay. This female has a hidden agenda. I already see she, there's something she wants that she's not getting. Okay, but she has a hidden agenda. So she may tell you one thing, but there's something behind that. So I might tell you, hey, I need you to take me somewhere, but is I want you to take me somewhere because I got somebody waiting on there for you to set you up, or I got something that I want to go do that's illegal, but I don't want to tell you that because you might not take me. So this is somebody having something going on that's hidden from you. I'm going to put these back, but here you have, I'm trying to clarify this hidden agenda. We have somebody with regrets cheating you, cheating on you or cheating you out of something, illegal activity, drug use, and somebody being heartless. So I'm going to put those back, see if come back out. regrets somebody's regretting whatever this was whatever that agenda was and if it's these cards that just I just pulled out that I put back in then we know what the hidden agenda was about some illegal activities somebody's trying to beat somebody out of something cheat somebody out of something Whoever this person is, that's I said, this is somebody he doesn't know. A stranger to him. But the stranger probably had a job to do. But the stranger also had something going on with them. They could have had an addiction. They could have some type of illness, whatever, something going on mentally, emotionally, whatever the case may be. But then you have this person going along, somebody being submissive. So this person is being submissive. They're going along with whatever somebody had concocted here with this. Because we got a deadly encounter or setup. Then we have a hidden agenda here going on with this female. Somebody's being submissive going along with it. Or they're helping you. But either way, they're not doing anything to stop it. And they, they are aware of it. This is the, the um, jealousy, envy, and hatred somebody has. So this is somebody not liking you, okay? And then this is the confinement or restriction. So this means this person 
could be holding you somewhere, keeping you somewhere, keeping you from moving, holding you down, um, keeping you imprisoned in some type of way. Person could have had a criminal record. Someone from a different culture, background, karma, somebody that you thought you could trust and you look to this person for support and they got some secrets. We'll put this back, see what comes out with this. Sexual partner, sexual activity. So this, somebody had a, a plan. See, this is a sexual partner, sexual activity, but having a fading relationship with somebody, this person is stubborn, they're hard-headed. You can't tell this person anything. So that's probably why they're having a fading relationship and not getting along. But this is a sexual, connected to a sexual partner that has a plan, has something they're trying to, to do here. Somebody is mixed up in some mess that you created. So the sexual partner here has gotten gotten involved, gotten him involved in something that has nothing to do with him. Because this is somebody getting caught up in something that has nothing to do with them. That's somebody else's mess, somebody else's problem. But now you caught up in it. So he could be the sexual partner of this female. And he's caught up in something that he has nothing to do with. Vice versa. For this, someone in your group of friends in your communities, major shift in your life, somebody um, getting help or receiving help. This, this is commitment. Somebody in a committed relationship or committed to something right here. So I'll put that back. Hidden enemy, pregnant woman, a mother could be this female because the hidden enemy is a woman. So somebody could have set him up, somebody in his circle, somebody he knows in his circle, somebody is connected to him. Got a mother, pregnant woman, hidden enemy. Because see this woman, this female right here, she has a hidden agenda, hidden enemy. She told somebody what she did about this illegal activity drug use. Okay. Okay. So, cause like I said, here, somebody could be trying to protect someone because see, you have somebody trying to protect someone right here. And then you have the hidden enemy is this female, but she told someone about this, whatever she's done here. You have the regret on what somebody had planning. So maybe she told somebody, okay. Now, you have somebody getting pulled into something, but right here you have this father with this and with this um, family issue. And like I said, they're covered, they're hiding some things, covering some things up about a deadly encounter or a setup that somebody has that's connected to the family. So if this father is this, this female's father. She may have told him what she did because you have the regrets here with this illegal activity and somebody revealing everything. So you told somebody what happened. So this male could be protecting her. This male could be the sexual partner or Leandre could be the sexual partner, but whatever it is, somebody has got caught up in something that has nothing to do with them. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the other cards, see what comes out with that.
So here you have somebody cutting somebody off. I'm not dealing with you in the anymore because I found out some things about you and here this is the gifts meaning you doing something for somebody or you sharing things with someone that means you could be sharing someone else meaning if you're in a relationship that person is you're sharing that person with someone else it could be that or it could just be you doing something for someone else y'all doing things for each other so here's somebody got exposed for some things that they were doing and now somebody's not wanting to deal with them anymore they're cutting them off So here we have the drugs, whether that's legal, like prescribed drugs or illegal street drugs, whatever the case may be, somebody that can get close to you in close proximity to you having keys. Someone has key information. So somebody that's close to him knows something. OK, and then it's also some drugs in here that's related. So this could be the key to the situation here. This person right here has key information or they are the key to the situation. The key is somebody was trying to do something for someone. OK, doing things for each other. So somebody was either doing that or they were sharing somebody, but somebody close to him or he found out something about somebody close to him that was doing some things. OK, so maybe you're not dealing with somebody here because they were involved in this or doing this, selling it, whatever they were doing. So you cutting this person off, they could have been using it, selling it, whatever. get that in a second so here's somebody wanting justice because you cut them off so now they want to get back at you so they feel justified in whatever happens to you OK, somebody could also be like I say, be in the court system, but somebody couldn't let something go. They was obsessed with it. So because they found out something, they couldn't let it go. So whatever they found out about about somebody that's close to them, they wanted justice for it because they can't let it go. Something was taken. So they stole something from him. They feel like something was stolen from them, whatever that they were doing. So somebody, if they were sharing somebody, because I had the cheating card pop out, but I put it back in. So if that means you feel like somebody's cheating on you and you sharing this person, they feel like this person was taken away from them. This card came out. Okay, so here we have the two faces, two minds. It just means a two, like a two-faced person. They act one way in front of you and another way behind your back. This is the fire, the intensity of the situation. So it could have been a very intense situation. This person could be very obsessed, very uh, upset. Okay, but then somebody made a mistake. They didn't mean for something to go the way it went. That's probably why that person had that regret on whatever they had planned. 
because it went another way other than what they expected. Okay. Because the situation was so intense, perhaps it some things went wrong that they hadn't planned for. But see, this person, like I said, got, got some things that they're hiding connected to this. And like I said, the intensity of that situation, because somebody couldn't let it go. Somebody couldn't, whatever they found out, they couldn't let it go. And they were very upset about it. But it's somebody that's close to him or that can get close to him. Basically not a stranger. So you see what that says. Somebody is guilty of this and they left him somewhere. They abandoned him somewhere. Okay. Somebody is guilty. They felt like whatever they did, they felt justified in it. Or they, they felt like this is their justice. Somebody cut them off. This also means somebody cutting you as well. Then we have this because somebody was obsessed. But somebody was also exposed. So somebody found out like something, like I said, they were obsessed about it. They couldn't let it go. This happens. Now you're leaving somebody behind. You're abandoning them. You're leaving them somewhere. Something was taken. It could have been that person's life. Okay? Because of this. Yeah, so somebody's playing mind games. They're trying to cause confusion about the situation. Because, see, I said this person is two-faced. And you already had in the beginning that somebody was hiding some things about what they had going on about themselves. Two-faced person, two different energies. Maybe they use this, sell this, whatever. But they're playing mind games. They're trying to cause confusion about the situation. Because, see, they sacrificed him. Meaning that something happened. But instead of them doing something to prevent it or not putting it, that person in that situation to save themselves, they let this happen to him. Not saying that's what happened to him. I'm just saying that's what it means. Okay, so now we have the talk. Somebody is talking because like I said, somebody told somebody else about the illegal activities that they were doing. They told that man that, that father figure. They told somebody. So that's the gossip. Oh, this happened. I didn't mean for it to happen. Okay. But somebody is talking about some things that's relevant to the case. The situation of him being missing. Okay. Somebody is talking about it. And they have information that will be helpful to finding where he is. But see this talk about this. Now they're trying to confuse everybody else. Oh, uh, he went, did this or whatever. They're not telling the truth. So whoever they're talking to, they're not telling the truth. Somebody's talking to him because see, now they're trying to cause confusion. So they only, and somebody that's close to him or can get close to him because see, they can't cause, a stranger not going to cause confusion about a situation that you can't even connect them to. So somebody that's close to him, somebody that knows him is trying to, play mind games with people to act to cause confusion to confuse people or what the situation actually was or to make the situation seem like it's something else the media so this is somebody communicating with somebody whether you on social media social media you sending messages text messages calling somebody on the phone some type of media device so somebody is communicating You see, they also told somebody they left them somewhere. A 
Okay, so this looks like this what fell out. I'm gonna put it back. So we have somebody in the family. Somebody having internal damages to their body. This is a vehicle. And then this is the hidden agenda that came out with the female. Somebody that lives together. Because remember I said it could have been the father. That female's father could have been the one that's helping her. Because we had the family issue. We have the family here. We have somebody having internal damages to their body. We have this vehicle or somebody being moved, left behind. Then we have somebody with a hidden agenda. Somebody that lives together. Okay. Put that back. On this media. Somebody is communicating about this. See, they're talking about this. They're talking about that. There's communication about this. Somebody's on the phone, sending messages about this. Communicating about it, could be setting it up. This is what we're gonna do. This is what happened. Okay, so we got that. This is the father figure again, but it also means the person that's behind it. So we got a father coming out twice. Then we have the communication with the father about this. Remember I said this female could have told that father what happened and that's the issue they're trying to cover up within the family. Okay, so, and then we have this weapon coming out as well. So somebody had a weapon. So they could be talking about all of this, this father and that female, whoever she is, they could be talking about this. Okay, what happened? So like I said, I don't know anything about him other than he's missing out of Atlanta and what, where they found this truck. So that's Leandre. So now, I'm gonna to go to um, Jonathan David Lau. So like I said, uh, Leandre Flint, he's been missing since June 29th of this year out of Atlanta, Georgia, but his truck was found abandoned in Michigan. Okay, and that's all I know about him. Okay, so let's look into um, Jonathan David Lau. So like I said, he has been missing since November of last year. But there's no statement about where he's missing from. But they're just saying that he was last heard from or seen November of last year. So let's look into him. Jonathan Now they did say something about his girlfriend. He was he had a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend. 
And this is the information that the girlfriend said she hadn't heard from him. Okay. Whoever the girlfriend is, I don't know. I don't know if it's an ex-girlfriend or an actual girlfriend. All right, here you have the karma, somebody that you know, and somebody getting help. So somebody you know, he knows, could have got help in giving him this karma. You have that friend coming out with the karma. And this child. So here you have the karma connected to a friend and also a child. Someone you know connected to somebody crossing over. So someone he knows connected to someone's passing. Not saying it's his passing. Somebody's trying to protect themselves, okay, from this person's passing away. So, you have somebody receiving some type of help. But it's connected to a sickness, illness, or disease. Somebody has a sickness, illness, disease, or an addiction, a impairment in some type of way. And then here you have somebody not getting something that they need or want. Okay, so somebody is wanting help or receiving help, but they're not getting what they want. Somebody's not giving them what they want. Maybe they have some type of addiction and somebody's not giving them what they want. That person to help them with something. Okay. Sexual partner here. Okay, so I pulled two cards because this means whatever this is, we need to look more into it. So we need to look more into why this person is trying to get away from someone or a situation. Why they ran away, why they're trying to get away. Okay. So we have this sexual partner connected to this karma and someone he knows sexual partner and the karma. And then also this friend with this child, somebody passing away and somebody's trying to protect someone. So this connected to this sexual partner. Family issue. We got this child here. And money. Okay, material things. So you have here this sexual partner having some, there's something within the family with by either money, money or material things. So this, they could have needed money for the family. They could have um, had some money issues within the family, needed money for this child. Somebody wasn't giving it, whatever it is. Okay, but there's some something going on within the, this person's family as it relates to some money. And now we have, yeah, let's see. So here we have job employment. Now this could be the siblings, and this is the family issue. This could be siblings or someone who flips on you, changes up on you. 
Okay, so this person is trying to get away, but we need to look more into what they're trying to get away from. And it could be this job or employment and this sibling or this person is trying to flip on that has flipped on them because you have here somebody is trying to get help or helping somebody with something. Um, either to want the help or giving the help, but whatever it is, somebody is not getting what they want out of a situation. And like I said, this person has some type of impairment, whether it's a sickness, illness, disease, or an addiction. So let's look more into this karma. Somebody is hiding some things. Keeping some things hidden and secret. About this cheating. So the cheating means somebody is cheating on you. If you're in a relationship or somebody could be trying to cheat you out of something, get something out of you, uh, beat you out of something, however you want to put it. They're trying to cheat you in some type of way, cheat you out your money, cheat you out of something. OK, but see, this person is hiding some things. They could be hiding the fact that they were doing this. Or this is why they're getting the karma, because they found out somebody was not being truthful and hiding the fact. That they would do some type of cheating, whether it's cheating on you or cheating uh, you out of something. And here, they could either have the karma from this because somebody could have, a friend of theirs could have been doing this, okay? Or it could have been somebody cheating and had a child. But this, it could just be the friend is involved with the karma that this person is trying to get. All right, this is someone that you go to for support. Talk to this person. Okay, this is the person that you know. But this person is connected to this. Somebody passing away and they're trying to either protect themselves from people finding out that they're connected to it. This is someone you had love for someone, you know, you have love for this person. You, you dealing with this person and y'all, this is someone that, like I said, that you will go to, if you're having a bad day, you go talk to this person It's that type of person. But here, it's connected to somebody passing away and also somebody on the defense, whether they're trying to protect themselves or defend themselves, however you want to put it. They're on the defense about this person passing away. This is somebody setting you up. We already got the karma from somebody that you know, but they're getting help right here with this setting you up. This is somebody setting you up, plotting on you. You're not getting giving them what they want. Are they not getting what they want out of you? the deadly encounter or set up with this plot somebody set you up because we already have here that somebody is getting revenge on you but they're hiding some things so you may think this person is somebody that cares about you and you got all this stuff going on but this person is hiding who they really are This is the hidden agenda. 
Okay, so that could be this job that somebody had to do. That's why they needed this help. Okay, so somebody had a hidden agenda. They wanted somebody to do something for them. Because see, they wanted the help. But this person is trying to get away from a person or a situation. Because somebody flipped on them. Like I said, somebody, you thought there was one way and they flipped on you and it turned out to be a totally different way. Because see, they had this hidden agenda. They set you up. You got into an encounter, a deadly encounter because of this person. And there's somebody have some regrets. That's probably why this person is trying to get away from the situation. They tried to leave. Because whatever they had going on right here, they they regret doing it, this job. So now they're trying to get away from it. Okay. Now this could be them flipping on somebody, somebody changing their mind, acting different, whatever it is. This could be him involved in this or somebody could be doing this to him. Okay, this person is someone who doesn't live in a traditional way. And that could be him because, they, like I said, they say he's in different places and you never know where he is. So this person, this, this type of person right here, someone who's not the traditional moving place to place. They don't have, they're doing things different. They live their life in a different way. Okay. And that's him or that's this female. I mean, not this female, the sexual partner. He could be the sexual partner. Or this could be his sexual partner. X. Okay. This is the ex sexual partner of his. This could be that girlfriend. Like I said, I don't know if they said it was the ex-girlfriend, a current girlfriend was telling them she hadn't heard from him and they, and they couldn't get in contact with him, but she was the last person to hear from him. I guess that's what it was. But um, anyway, we have this ex here, sexual partner. Like I said, they got some th things going on within the family, dealing with some money issues. But this is an ex here that's connected to this right here. All right, so let's pull the other cards and see what comes out with that. Here you have somebody getting into an altercation, an argument, then somebody needing some type of medical care. They need some medical assistance. Somebody is in their feelings. They're emotional. So this is a heated argument right here, but then somebody ended up needing medical care because of the altercation. All right, so here you have the betrayal. Somebody playing mind games. Like I said, so you think this person is one way or feel this certain way about you and then they really don't. That's the betrayal. Somebody playing mind games, trying to cause confusion, trying to make you believe something that's not true. And then this is all about their happiness, their success, their abundance, their money, their happiness. Okay, so this they could have betrayed you for some money, but see you having an argument over it too. You're not giving me what I want. I need this. If it's not money, it's something else that they're arguing about. But it's something that's going to make them happy. 
but they're trying to trick you and play mind games in order to get it. But see, also somebody is playing mind games because they know he needs medical care. And they're trying to cause confusion in it. But then somebody is upset about this betrayal. So here's the trauma. Somebody has some type of trauma. They need medical care. Then you have somebody coming back around, somebody getting back at you. Like, oh, you did this to me. So now I'm going to do this to you. You got into an argument. Okay. So now I want to get back at you. Here you, somebody's emotional. Somebody is leaving, traveling, moving, being relocated or traveling. Okay. So somebody could go off, leave. Okay. Because they're upset about this betrayal Something was taken here and somebody's trying to play mind games about it. So they're trying to call it, they're trying to confuse you on what really happened. Some, something was taken from someone. We got a male right here, a father or whoever's behind the situation. Who's ever making the moves, making the decisions behind this thing. Okay. They are guilty of this betrayal. Okay. But also, like I said, somebody is upset and they left because they felt betrayed and they're upset about it. This male here had something taken away from him. Now, this could be him or it could be another male as well because we got different things going on. We got him feeling some type of way and the person that's involved or the people that's involved in here as well. Because you got somebody trying to get karma back at you because you got into an argument whatever you did something they don't like you didn't do something that they wanted you to do here okay so, so they got somebody playing game mind games with this man this male but about something that's going to make them happy so whatever it is they want something from him but they also could have had some this another male come in and help them with this karma So here you have somebody giving information. Somebody's passing information back and forth about somebody being hurt, needing medical care. But also somebody's telling, inf sending information back and forth about somebody's, this is your child, your legacy, something that you're known for. Okay. So somebody that's affiliated, connected to him is giving information to someone this is a child can we had a child that come up before now that could be his parents looking for their child but somebody that's connected with him is giving information okay they're telling somebody something but they're connected to him also somebody that's with him they're moving around they moved him somewhere whatever the case may be they're traveling around See this male child, male legacy, this male's legacy. But somebody is telling people that's connected to him or the person that's connected to him is telling someone something, passing information back and forth. 
but they're not telling everything. So they could be telling one person something else and another person a whole nother story. So here we have somebody guilty of doing something, guilty of taking something, playing mind games. Also, this person is, like I said, two-faced. They, they doing one thing in front of you and another thing behind your back. We got a male involved in here. Somebody's obsessed with something, with this father figure, but they betrayed him. So this looks like somebody, like I said, it's the type of person who acts how they need to act in whatever situation they find themselves in. So they're going to be a chameleon. So if I need to act like this over here to get what I want, that's what I'm going to do. If I got to act like that to get what I want, that's what I'm going to do. But this person wanted something that he wasn't giving them. And then you see them setting him up in the first part. But him, somebody having trauma. Somebody is guilty, but see, somebody's telling, inform, giving information about this. Somebody's guilt, something was taken, but they're also playing mind games too. And they're talking about this, passing information, giving information to someone about what happened. But we have, like I said, somebody getting into it. get into some type of argument because we see that in the first part that there was some type of encounter and somebody set somebody up for something to happen to them for the karma. Okay. So that's the reading on Jonathan David Lau. Like I said, I don't know much about him. Just he was missing and where, where from, I don't know situation why he's missing. I don't know. Okay. So Anyway, so if you have any information on him and know anything about it, you can leave it in the comment section for him or Leandre Flint. Thank you for watching.